Hey, Seth, can you come over here real quick? Sure, Mr. Boswell. I got a question for you. Okay. Do you think the newspapers we publish here at the Proverbs paper are any good? Why, of course. Good. Because I think they can be better. <laughs> what? Sally, we live in a small town here. Not a lot of action. So likewise, the articles we publish just don't grab as much attention as those big city ones do. What are you saying? We need to step up our game. How? As you said, there's not a whole lot of excitement that happens in a town of 1,000 people. Exactly. But I think I've found a solution to our problem. Is this going to be like your last plan? What do you mean? Remember when you decided we needed an interesting story? So you became a criminal overnight. That way we'd have something exciting to write about the next day. Oh, yeah. Not my best plan. But at least it wasn't a serious crime. True. But shaking all the soda up at the grocery store isn't exactly the nicest thing to do. I know. I know. Thankfully, the story was good. But no, my new plan has nothing to do with that. Good. So, what is it? Well, as you know, the most important part of an article is its headline. If the title is born in lackluster, no one's going to bother reading it. People want some pizzazz. <laughs> but if we made our headlines more exciting and enthralling, readers will want to know the full story. That makes sense. But how are you suppose doing that? Surely our headlines can only be as engaging as the story itself. Let me demonstrate. See here? Just yesterday, some four-year-old kid went into the local toy store with his family, and he grabbed a toy train without his parents noticing. He then tried to leave with it in his pocket. Luckily, the store owner saw him do it, and he got the toy train back. Pretty boring, right? Now, how would you title that story? Hmm, let me think. Uh, little shoplifter caught at local toy store. That's pretty good. What about train robbery thwarted by store owner? What? Train robbery? <laughs> See? Much more attention grabbing. You can't use that title. And why not? I'm not lying. A toy train was almost stolen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the equivalent of a train robber. <laughs> you write right, that. People are going to think there was some western train heist. Exactly. Absolutely not. That is called lying. Everything in that title is true, though. We're not doing that. Fine. What else are we writing about this week? Let me check. Well, we're writing an article about the increased sale of cereal and how parents are buying more and more of it for their kids. Perfect. Now just give me a second. Aha! Got it. Listen to this. Are you raising a serial killer? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Boswell! What? Absolutely and emphatically not. There is no way in the world that we are using that title. Why not? It really does not get much more attention grabbing than that. But it's still lying. How so? If I make sure that the word seal with a C is used, I'm not lying. You said it yourself. Parents are buying cereal for kids. Kids start to like cereal. They eat slash kill the cereal. <laughs> They're cereal kids. Listen, lying just doesn't just mean what is said. It also means how it is said. The way you're wording that will only misguide people. Well, sue me for trying to think of interesting headlines. Mr. Boswell, look, I'm not trying to come across as rude, but we simply can't publish articles with headlines like that. I just don't see what the big deal is. Do you remember why our newspaper is called the Proverbs Paper? Yeah. Well, I'm going to remind you anyway. It's named after the book of Proverbs found in the Bible. The reason it was named after this specific book is because this company was founded on Christian principles, many of which are taken directly from Proverbs. I'm guessing that includes the ones about being honest. Yep, in fact, one of those verses, or sorry, yep, in fact, Proverbs is full of verses about honesty. You have Proverbs 12, 17 and 22, Proverbs 14, 5, Proverbs 19, 1. Okay, I get it. <laughs> you made your point. Clearly, these headlines aren't exactly the most truthful. And if the Bible tells me to be honest, I obviously can't do both. Hey, don't be discouraged. One of those verses I mentioned, Proverbs 12, 22, tells us this. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. God not only notices when, when we speak the truth, but he delights in it. And would you rather have more readers or make God happy? That is a no-brainer. <laughs> I'd rather please God. Well, thanks for all your help, Sally. 
you may have just prevented a lot of problems for the Proverbs paper. But don't mention it. <laughs> oh, hey, before I forget, there was one more idea that Mr. I had to... Mr. Boswell? What? No. <laughs> <laughs>